Yeah, it's gonna be a short one uh, on this uh, concrete adhesive slash primer. If you look closely, as it dries, it turns, uh, I don't know, kind of the color of concrete cured. Uh, if it's white, it's still curing. Jug says let it cure 24 hours. I'm thinking that's or so. Because over here, that's cured. This is the one I did first. It's almost 100% cured. So I'll be able to pour concrete tomorrow. See how my back's feeling. And like I said, um, started sealing these sliding doors for the candles. They're screwed shut. But most all of them was leaking. Uh, this is just typical of the ones I've been sealing. Not a whole lot to it. A real good quality uh, door, window, and uh, siding sealant. Uh, brown. Like, who cares? Over here on this wall, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of these openings. And of course, I ran out on the last one and the second last one could use a little bit of extra opposing wall there's only four uh, those sealed up real nice on the outside and uh i think i might have stopped all those leaks they're clouding up pretty good right now it got cold too so another front blowing in we get some rain I'll definitely know if this stuff's working or not. You know, truth be known, these sliding doors uh, need to come out. And I need to, the simplest thing be uh, some plate steel screwed and sealed to the wall. These things are kind of rusty, the frames are pretty rusty. Uh, I'll put that on my to-do list. As long as they ain't leaking, I'm going to call her pretty well done. Uh, nobody can get in the building through them. They're all screwed shut. Uh, again, now they can drive a car through the wall of the building and get in. And I had a military surplus grinder I bought, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 years ago, a bunch of other military surplus stuff. And it was... Uh, 208 volt single phase European plug and I had it sitting on a shelf over there since I bought it I said okay some of this crap's got to go so I carried it outside put it by the street and within about three minutes one of the local crackheads came and picked it up it was a she as she's cussing herself cussing the world singing strange songs just a typical crackhead uh, on a bicycle. So she uh, got it on the bike and was heading north last time I saw her, still cussing, singing, and cussing the world. Strange folks. Uh, I just shut the doors and lock it. And the jury's afraid somebody's going to whop me in the head and kill me or something down here. I'm not exactly stupid, so that's not going to happen. Uh, what else? I think tomorrow I'll get one more tube of that uh, sealant and finish up that last one and a half sliding doors. And uh, I'll be ready to put the rebar in these trenches, get it all tied, get it anchored, and uh, start pouring concrete. That ought to be fun. Uh, Jerry's got to work tomorrow, so I'll be here by myself. And uh, I'll do what I can, reach a stopping point. I probably won't stop. Once I start pouring, I'll just pour everything, get her done. So, another productive day. I'm tired. And uh, had to stop and visit with a couple of folks. Uh, the man did come and pick up those blocks. I was real thankful for that. And he is thankful to get them, so all good there.
That's all for this one. Thank you.